the monks told me that they fasted two days every week. They felt that this fasting added vigorous, healthy years to their lives. Their youthful appearance bore out their belief. These men had great flexibility. All were healthy, lean, and muscular. With the glow of health to their skin and their bright, keen eyes. None of them wore glasses. The miracle of fasting reviewed. I'm Stephen Middleton, coming to you from the Possibility Action Network. Our core values include I am, I can, and I will. I am Possibility Man. Today, I want to share on the theme, The Miracle of Fasting Reviewed by Dr. Paul Bragg and Dr. Patricia Bragg. I heard about this book recently from a business colleague of mine, George Fiorini, who talked about this book and how he was inspired by it. I went to the internet immediately and got my own copy because I wanted to find out why George was so excited about this book. I understand why. If you have watched any of my videos, you are probably aware that I am on a health quest. I'm trying to find out if I can reverse a neuromuscular condition that leads to total body weakness. All of the doctors who are traditional doctors have told me that you can't change this. There's nothing you can do about this. You just got to live, ride this one out to the very end. I didn't listen. I began to talk with doctors in lifestyle medicine. I've talked with doctors in functional health. I've talked with naturopaths and all kinds of people trying to figure out, is there anything that I can do to give my sense of feeling that I am being proactive, even though some of my neurologists have said, hey, there's nothing that you can do. I have changed the way I eat. For the most part, I follow a whole food plant-based program. What I've witnessed is that my body is responding to those kinds of changes. And now, with the miracle of fasting, I'm going to add another arrow in my quiver. Now, like you, I'm not new to fasting. I've heard about fasting before. I've heard about fasting several years ago, about spiritual fasting, fasting to become closer with the divine as a way actually to allow yourself to recognize how close you are to the divine. I've heard about, and you too, intermittent fasting. I had a conversation with one of my nephews this morning and he says that he still is engaged in intermittent fasting. So we're not new to fasting, but Dr. Bragg uh, uh, is introducing us to really the 24-hour fast, the miracle of fasting review. Here is what I have uncovered in this book. For one thing, he says that fasting is easier than a diet. Now, you know, if you are open, if you're looking for losing weight, what he's saying that if you want to lose weight, and if you incorporate fasting in your nutrition plan, chances are you'll lose body weight faster. So this is one of the points that they make in this book. They also say that fasting gives the body a physiological rest. Think about it now. When we consume food, the food goes into our gut. And if you're doing this Every day of our lives, our gut doesn't get a chance to take a break. I was watching a video by Barbara O'Neill recently. Barbara O'Neill, if you have not encountered her, is a, is a naturopath. And in her conversation about immune health, she mentions fasting. 
And she said that when we fast, we give our gut a break. And this is what the doctor's brags are mentioning here, that when we fast, we give our body a physiological rest. So that it's not always in the constant process of breaking down food. This book also says that fasting is used successfully in the treatment of many diseases. Now, they are not trying to treat diseases in this book, and I am not suggesting that anyone should try to use fasting to treat diseases. Only your physician, only your licensed physician is qualified to diagnose, treat, and attempt to cure certain diseases. But this book does say, though, that fasting is a way that an individual can actually uh, deal with their illnesses. Fasting, they say, lowers and normalizes cholesterol and other health conditions. Fasting is a calming experience, often relieving tension and insomnia. Well, I never thought of fasting in that way. And that's one of the things that you'll learn more about in this book. Fasting aids the elimination process. And this is not something that people go around talking about. But, you know, our bodies, because of the foods that we have, because of the way they break down, and once they become waste, that food in our gut, that waste, can become toxic. So you want that stuff to flow out of the body, to flow out of the body. And fasting, along with proper nutrition, is a way to make that happen. Fasting is a regulator educating the body to consume food only as needed. I did not consider that before reading this book. Fasting is an educator to the body. The body learns how to better consume foods. Fasting can be used to deprive food allergies. Did not was not aware of that about fasting, but you will may get that in this book as well. And then other great tips that are mentioned in this fine book, The Miracle of Fasting. I'm Stephen Middleton, coming to you from the Possibility Action Network. Our core values include, I am, I can, and I will. I am Possibility Man. Until next time, good day.